Hello, Kitty. In the last video, we talked about how to keep the momentum going with our big book project for months whilst being interrupted. We applied a little mind trick to keep our spirits up by removing our focus from the big book to focusing on completing two pages per day. Now I've been at it for a while. I started penciling in July. It sounds like a long time for 105 pages of underdrawings. I encountered a lot of interruptions. Some of it were expected, but there was one I wasn't prepared for. I got terribly sick for two months, and so that offset my schedule. But today, I finished all the underdrawings for a big book project, so I'm having a little celebration in my head. The next stage is the coloring stage. It's also the stage I consider the Zen stage because it's more meditative and intuitive than the previous stage of underdrawings. When I'm penciling and thumbnailing, I feel I'm using both sides of my brain because I have to be both artistic and calculative, which is why I find it the most challenging stage of the comic book creation process. But once we're in the coloring stage, this one feels more like a treat. It feels like en plein air. It feels like I'm painting outdoors in the land of ponies and rainbows. It's my favorite stage because now it becomes easier to recover from an interruption. Yep, there will always be interruptions. Let's just get used to that. But because we are now done with the underdrawings, we're done with the blueprints, all we need to do now is follow the lines and make the panels pretty to look at. I think this is the state in which most beginners think we inhabit all the time as comic book artists, which is a little deceiving. We certainly look forward to this stage every time we start a new project, but the preparations before and the finishing touches that come after this is the bulk of the work. This middle part is essential to the process, but it's a type of work that is uniquely pleasurable. because. Even though it comes before any monetary rewards, it's the one that makes up for all the hard work done behind the scenes. I can't really explain it without sounding like I'm away with the fairies, but it's the part of the process that makes you remember you have a soul. It's the real reason why I'm doing this. This is my reward. Now getting the book printed and being read by other people, that's surely a big bonus worth sticking around for. But for now, I'm about to start the best part. Alright, I'll talk to you later.